Hello my friends and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. Now I know there's a lot of you out there that have gotten your teeth pulled and you're waiting to get your dentures. And it's difficult to eat. I understand that and you think you have to eat all soft food. I've mentioned in a few videos now and I've showed in a few videos how tough my gums are. I can pretty much eat anything I want with or without my dentures and one of the first things that you need to learn or that you need to practice on without teeth is dry toast that means no butter just dry the reason for that is is because all these little brown pieces on the toast will work on your gums it'll it'll sting your gums and I like to fold mine in half just like that and these crusty parts leave the crust on because the crust will actually help toughen up your gums too when you first start doing this it's going to sting your gums it's gonna feel like your gums are sunburned but if you do this every day within a week you won't feel anything on your gums anymore then you can go on to other things like crackers and you can work your way up to eating potato chips and Oreo cookies and all kinds of things. But this is the beginning right here. This is where you start. Dry toast. Chew on one side. When it gets smashed down enough that you can't smash it anymore, move it to the front. bite in the front. Two on the other side. Move it to the front. When it gets to the point where you can't chew in the front anymore, smash it on the roof of your mouth with your tongue until it's small enough to swallow. Bite in the front. Be on the other side. And again, move it to the front. Right in the front, two on the other side. Move it to the front. And you can actually just two in the front. What that's going to initially do when you first start doing this it's going to sting i mean literally your first bites are going to hurt they're not hurt i hate that word hurt because they're it's not going to hurt it's going to sting like you have like you have a lighter on your gums that's what it's gonna feel like 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 you got heat on your gums like you're drinking something too hot or you know like you put some hot food in your mouth that you have to sit there and you know but that initial sting is what's going to help toughen up your gums 
Now you don't have to fold your bread in half like I do. You can eat it this way. You can use your tongue to smash it on the roof of your mouth and tear it apart. My gums don't come together in the front. So eating it this way, I just smash it on the roof of my mouth. Okay. And tear it off. That'll also help toughen up the roof of your mouth. This is your starting point for toughening up your gums. Now I've showed you eating chips and things like that without my teeth. And for the most part, if you're eating without your teeth, in general, you're not gonna eat a lot of tough foods. Chips are pretty good though. I like chips. I like Oreo cookies. I like to be able to eat things without my teeth that I can normally eat with my teeth. So I keep my gums toughened up. And even after you get your dentures, it's a good idea to at least once a week do something like this or eat some chips or something once a week without your dentures just to keep your gums toughened up. Believe me, when you first start, you're going to feel that sting and you're not going to want to do this. But it's something that I feel everybody that doesn't have teeth should do. And about an hour after you're done, you're really going to feel the sting. Once your gums have a chance to get over the shock, the initial shock of doing this, then you're gonna start feeling that sting. And that sting and that discomfort could last throughout the day. It'll feel like your gums are sunburned. But the next day, you can do it again. And within a week, you won't feel anything anymore. then you can move up. I just want everybody to be able to eat and do what they need to do. So this is your starting point for eating without teeth. Now, I do want to make it very, very clear that you need to at least let, if you just had your teeth pulled, you need to stay on softer foods for the first couple of weeks. Give your gums a chance to heal somewhat. Let the holes heal up. If you have stitches, wait a few days after they take the stitches out before you start doing this. So, I'm gonna say three weeks after you have your teeth pulled, that's when you need to start toughening up your gums. Like three weeks. That gives you the, all the holes a chance to heal. If you've had stitches, you get your stitches out and it gives the holes where the stitches were a chance to heal so that nothing can get in there and cause infections. And you need to start off small like this with just dry toast. I mean dry toast. I don't mean dry toast with butter on it. I mean completely dry toast. I like to pan fry mine. You can use a toaster or a toaster oven, whatever, but don't put any butter on it. No jam, no peanut butter, no jelly, just dry toast. Believe me, it's going to really toughen up your gums if you do that every day for a week, even if you only eat one piece. 
you're going to feel that sting, that burn, and by seven days, you'll be able to eat as many pieces as you want. You won't feel any sting or burn at all. Your gums will be that tough within a week. Then you can move up to things like crackers or softer chips like Pringles, things of that nature. And you can work your way up to being able to eat crunchy Cheetos, um, Doritos, cookies, whatever. You can build that toughness in the gums and be able to eat whatever you want. It may take a month or two, but by the end of that couple of months, you'll be eating just as well as anybody that has dentures. I'll do more lessons on this coming up. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.